Good morning, ladies. I'm Amber Masterson with Created Journey, bringing you day 12 of 100 Days of Praise and Positivity. Today, we're going to be diving into Romans 15, 13, and we're going to be talking about hope this morning. So let's jump right into our journaling, and then we're going to discuss it at the end. Okay, so just like always, we're going to start off by washing taping off our word of the day and the praise God section. We don't want to paint over this, and today we're going to be using some simple supplies. You may not have it all, and if not, that's okay. Make make your entry with what you have. Never feel like you have to go out and buy what I'm using Um I say make do with what you have. But what I'm going to start out with is I'm going to start out painting my entire page black. The reason for this is we're talking about hope today. We live in a world where really hope is lost. Um, It is not something that many people really have like true hope. And when you're hopeless, it's a really dark place to be. So I'm starting out with just darkness complete despair, but then we're going to come in with God's word and we are going to brighten this page up using some jelly rolls. Um, the The kind of jelly rolls I'm going to be using today, it's called Jelly Roll Moonlight and they are a very neon bright color. And so it's about to bring some life back into this page that's lost hope. So That's kind of the idea behind what I'm doing today, and I'm going to kind of walk you through this, although for the most part, it's pretty self-explanatory, so we are going to talk a little bit about hope and in the world we live in. Um, I'm starting out, and I'm just going to hand letter out my entire verse today. Um, We're working in Romans 15, 13, and I want to read to you Romans 15, 13. It says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Wow. Wow. Have you ever been in a season where you feel like just all hope is lost? Um, I know for a fact I found myself in chapters of my life where I find myself in a valley and it is sometimes hard to rebound rebound out of that quickly and it kind of leaves us with the lingering feelings of despair but what if this verse is telling us is that we serve the God of hope y'all he can give us a supernatural hope that can't be found anywhere else in this world One of the things that I thought of when I read this is Paul is praying that the God of hope would fill us with joy and peace and that it would never, ever cease. This joy and peace can flow in and throughout our lives and it can literally seep into every area. But we have to trust in him. As we trust in him and as we have faith in him, he's going to fill us with that joy and hope. So are you today feeling hopeless about something? Is there something that you just don't see good coming out of? I'm going to encourage you to place your faith and trust. That's important. Faith and trust in Jesus Christ with an anticipation that this God of hope that we serve and call Father is going to do just that in your life today. So, after I get done with all of my verse and so forth, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth, but after I get done writing out my verse, I am adding in some confetti. It just represents this book. It represents, you know, life, how things might not always look great, and it might look like trash, but we can turn that into a treasure like she spoke about earlier in the devotion. Ladies, I know I've told you this, and I just want to keep reiterating. It is such a blessing to have y'all go through this journey with me. It is an honor. I am so excited to see what God is doing. So, my praise of the day is, 
Today I praise God for being the Prince of Peace and God of Hope. I thank you for choosing me to be a part of your kingdom and using me to bring you glory in a world where hope can only be found in you. So, let's go and take a final look at what we've created today. And I cannot wait to see yours. So day 12 was all about never losing hope. But the great thing is, is we have a God who is the giver of hope. And that is what this day in my devotion represents. Ladies, it has been so much fun. I enjoyed this entry. This was a fun entry to me. I like the confetti. I love the bright colors. And that dark, dark page Man, it just really got brightened up with his word and these neon colors, and it's just so fun. So tell me, leave me a comment below and tell me what you praise God for today on day 12 of 100 Days of Praise and Positivity. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join our Facebook group, tag me on Instagram, do all the things. Don't let me miss your entry. I want to see it. Leave your comments below and I will see you tomorrow morning for day 13. And we are going to be talking about faith and us not being alone. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs>